Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. For the past couple of years, we kept hearing people saying that Definity doesn't do marketing. Definity should do more marketing. Well, in the latest post that Dominic Williams made on the Definity forum, he said exactly that. A growing perspective is this. The internet computer is already full featured and mature, although we'll never stop making it better and extending its capability. So now we need to rotate towards marketing and productization. You are not prepared for what's coming, but watch this video and I guarantee that you're gonna feel more bullish now than you ever felt on ICP. It's not over and we are gonna have an altcoin season that everybody is no longer for some reason expecting anymore. And we covered this motion proposal, which proposed to increase the canister prices by four times and just to make everything a lot more expensive in the hope to reduce the ICP inflation and thus help support the price. The man himself, Dominic Williams, actually made a post on the forum where he addressed this proposal and he gave his thoughts on what he thinks is the way to go. This is an interesting proposal, so I wanted to chime in with my high-level view. Note that this far, Definity has not voted on proposal 138601, but my views roughly correlate with those of others here at the foundation. I think it's safe to say everyone in the community is very keen to find ways to support the price of the ICP token. Not only does a healthy ICP price catalyze the ecosystem, but it acts as an advertising for the ecosystem since the vast majority of our industry looks at price more than the underlying technology, vision, potential adoption, etc. So for the people who think that Dom doesn't pay attention to stuff like this, or he doesn't know that the prices should go up for more people to get into the ecosystem, this is the clear answer that he knows, he pays attention, and he has a plan. So it's not like, you know, we live in a world and the foundation lives in an entirely different world. They know the problems that we have inside the ecosystem, and he's going to tell us the plans to fix those problems that we have. For the people who are pro this proposal, the thinking probably goes that if we increase the cost of cycles, more ICP will be burned, creating deflationary pressure, which will be beneficial to the price. And this is all entirely logical, but it fails, in Dom's opinion, to capture the bigger picture for reasons he'll explain. When you look at competitive tokens from the big chains that, plainly speaking, belong to networks that are relative vaporware compared to what the internet computer is, the reason their tokens are more buoyant has absolutely nothing to do with them being more deflationary. And in fact, whereas the internet computer has actually gone deflationary several times already, their chains are often highly inflationary and there are often billion dollars of tokens held by insiders that will eventually hit their markets, which can be seen when you add the fully diluted market cap column on coin market cap. For the people who don't know, ICP is completely liquid right now. All the tokens have been vested in are currently in a circulation. And this is not something that a lot of other big chains like Solana, Sui, Avalanche, and pretty much all of the big tokens, they cannot say that they're fully diluted like ICP is. So what's the reason? Why are other tokens pumping? The first and foremost reason their tokens are more buoyant right now, relatively speaking, is that they run massive treasury operations. Basically, they market make their own token price in hopes to get new people into the token and then after a reversal has happened and people are more inclined to buy their tokens they can then dump the tokens that they bought at lower prices onto the late investors these treasuries do substantial buybacks from the market to support the price of their tokens they're currently using cash on hand to buy back their tokens at scale to provide price support Definity has studied this in detail. They know exactly the processes and techniques used and even the volumes they're buying on the markets. Their aim is to create bullish sentiment and demand around their token so that they can better sell into the market later. The truth is that the majority of the big coins operate largely as variations of meme coins whose market price derives from well-oiled narratives, marketing machines, working in combination with powerful market making and treasury management operations. It's not about functionality, deflationary pressure, technology, and etc. although we hope this will change. For example, to give you an idea of the scale of this, a few years ago, Dom discovered that one of the very largest coins by market cap, which is backed by a company, had a team of more than 50 traders in its treasury department. This is wild. Definity comes from a technology industry and is focused on creating technology that has utility. The prevailing pattern in Web3 is one where the token itself is the product rather than the actual functionality provided by the chain. This is basically crypto and it has been like this for the past years, at least for this cycle. It's the, the token price was the main product of so many cryptos. We have no intention of becoming a meme coin operation, even if we can and will learn things from the way they work. Their tokens are buoyant because of demand 
even if demand is created artificially through the management of their financial markets. So given our different focus, we also need to create demand, but do it through technology and its fair promotion. And Dom agrees that we need to attack inflation. For example, have the NNS run node provider auctions rather than just providing them 2.5x lifetime return on nodes or two, forcibly reduce the maximum staking lockups of neurons down to three years. And this is actually something that Dom proposed about one year ago and everybody was against it when uh, he proposed to reduce the staking time from eight years to three years and thus reducing the staking rewards. People didn't like that, but listen, if we really wanna lower the inflation, some steps will need to be made. And also they would need to optimize for deflation for example, increasing the cost of cycles to some degree, maybe, but the real task of the ecosystem is one of increasing demand. This far, Definity has operated much as a research institute and the vast majority of our funding has gone into research and development and not marketing or productizing the utility of the network. And we have also given out ICP grants very freely, which has materialized as supply on the markets. But change should come. Therefore, Definity is currently reevaluating its priorities in quite a radical way. In the past, we have been acting perhaps too cautiously thanks to securities class action created by competitors in 2021, see crypto leaks which would have loved to have said, for example, that we were marketing ICP to create demand for an illegal security. And those have now been dismissed. The internet computer is already full featured and mature, albeit we will never stop working to make it better. So we now need to rotate towards marketing and productization. We need to be as great as evangelizing and driving the internet through these things as we were at creating such a sophisticated public network, which is without peer. But this is still not enough on its own. We need unlimited growth paths, which we can execute on now. In this regard, more than a year ago, I pivoted Definity's view of the internet computer towards self-writing and recently bootstrapped the Caffeine spin-out platform to take advantage of it. And hopefully there will be other such self-writing or vibe coding platforms appearing to take advantage of what the internet computer offers too. Self-writing is the future of text text and it's godsend for the internet computer. Web3 developers go where there are grants and speculation and are completely mercenary while persuading craft developers who have invested years learning to build with Amazon Web Services, Postgres, and so on and so forth, that they should build on the internet computer protocol is hard work work, especially given the FUD that surrounds us in Web3. But these walls are parting with self-writing. In the future, increasingly, the owners of websites, web apps, and services will simply create in conversation with AI. They will not interact with the technical internals of text text, but with what AI has created and updated for them, which they will access through a simple URL. Self-writing platforms will provide guarantees, or at least the best versions will, that app data cannot be lost as a result of faulty updates and that apps produced are secure and resilient. In the future, there will be a new generation of text text specialized for self-writing, which will compromise of the combination of AI tool that's writing the software for users, for example, Caffeine, and the underlying platform that AI is using to create the web apps, for example, the internet computer. The optimal platform does not look anything like traditional tech, but it looks a lot like the internet computer and subsystems such as the Motoko language, which is the first language ever being developed for AI that builds. This is a mass market niche, which will be worth trillions of dollars eventually. And the internet computer and its recent technological developments is specialized for this exact purpose. And it is a tremendous opportunity. So here is my point regarding proposal uh, 138, 601, given we're on the cusp of the age of the self-writing on the internet computer, it will begin with general availability of caffeine. It doesn't make sense to crank up the cost of hosting self-writing apps on the internet computer protocol, which will make them less attractive. This is not DeFi, this is decentralized app hosting. And I agree, listen, imagine having a bunch of people millions of people coming and building using caffeine ai and now all of a sudden it's going to be way more expensive to actually deploy your website we need more builders building more apps that have a chance to go viral instead of trying to make it harder for everybody to actually do it now that the time is here so for me personally it doesn't make sense to dramatically increase the cost of cycles however i want to provide some qualifications to the above we should always be optimizing for the internet computer and the network nervous system uniquely enables it to adapt and improve at a rapid rate with regards to pricing, there are almost certainly changes that might be made 
for the example to obtain more network revenue for the hosted apps and yes maybe cycles could be made a bit more expensive so long as it doesn't get in the way of compute growth that creates demand Definity has begun internal processes to look at ideas however let's keep eyes firmly trained on the advent of the self-writing internet and the growth it will bring this will directly drive demand in two ways first by driving a massive increase in network compute which is powered by the burning of cycles and secondly by finally demonstrating to the world clearly and in a way that can be directly experienced by anyone exactly what the internet computer actually is and is capable of and arguably self-writing will be the first truly mainstream mass market application of blockchain since the digital gold or Bitcoin, since Wall Street has only just begun integrating with DeFi. In the future, 95% of the world web applications will be self-writing and moreover, once anyone can create production web apps through chat, the world will see a massive increase in the number of web apps, further increasing demand for self-writing tech stacks. So despite all the hand wringing going on at the moment and the confusion in the Web3 markets generally, personally speaking, I'm feeling very confident about where we are. To me, this is very bullish that he sticks to his guns and he doesn't try to copy what other projects are doing because in the end, innovation is going to win. And here we can see that the comments are extremely bullish. This is exactly what I wanted to hear, says John from Poke Studio. And then we can see other people inside the ISP community also extremely bullish and people are resonating with this message and this is the reason why we are holding the internet computer protocol people actually believe in the vision of Definity and dominic williams well other people you know hold meme coins or you know uh, blockchains that are, are just plain copies of other blockchains with just you know cheaper transaction costs and maybe faster transaction speed we are holding a piece of the future of the internet and it's happening right now in front of our eyes and for the people saying that well definity is not doing enough marketing listen definity is gonna move to straight up marketing the hell out of icp and we are gonna see a marketing push that we've never seen before the random people on the internet think that they can actually do marketing better than one of the best teams in crypto. Over 200 people working on the internet computer protocol, from developers to marketers, some of the best people in the space. I'm expecting a very bullish end of the bull market for the internet computer protocol. And I think that a lot of the people who are not getting scared right now at what is the actual bottom? I don't think we're gonna go much lower than this. I think that a lot of people who are gonna stick around are gonna be rewarded. So for the people who are still holding ICP, and for the people who are not publicly capitulating, I want to congratulate you. And I think that a very bullish months are ahead of us. So with this, we're done with this video. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this message from Dominic Williams? Do you agree that the future is going to be self-writing or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.